Guys, just dropped it off at Speedo Cluster, I think. Very nice guy. Um, dropped off my Nissan Titan Cluster because my gas gauge doesn't work and my mileage gauge doesn't work. And for the longest time, I've been just kind of dealing with it, but you know, it's been really stressful. I'm not gonna lie, not knowing how much gas you have when you're driving. So I was like, you know what, 230 bucks. Let's just get this thing fixed. Benny is guys, for a proper intro, what's up guys? Welcome back to Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, we're gonna be working on the 328. So uh, today it was actually supposed to be filming, uh, getting our new car, a new build, possibly a new build, um, checking out the new build and possibly purchasing it. It's actually from one of you guys, but unfortunately, um, we did get delayed one day, or at least for the videos, at least got delayed one day. Um, we're on time in terms of in real life type stuff. But uh, any hizzles, we are heading back home right now and we're gonna be slapping on an M Sport bumper. So this is probably one of the most rough M Sport bumpers I've ever picked up, but for the money, um, you know, I had to cop it. For a hundred bucks, I got a rear M Sport bumper. It is a little beat, but end of the day, it's gonna end up getting fixed up at the body shop, painted, paint match, all that good stuff. So without further ado, I'll catch you guys when I get home so we can slap on that beautiful bumper. And guys, we are officially back home. Super stoked to finally throw on this rear bumper. Now, obviously it needs to get paint match. My mirror caps are white, and this rear bumper actually that I got just so happens to be white as well. So um, we're gonna have a white and black car for a little bit. <laughs> but I guess that's fine, mainly because once it all gets painted, it's gonna look absolutely insane. This rear bumper, guys, I'm not a huge fan of. Like, I absolutely just, just absolutely just hate this bumper. It looks like it has some spider web cracking over here. Nothing crazy, a, lot of, a couple scratches over here. Yeah, like other than that, the bumper's actually in good shape. I honestly could just keep it and rock it, but for some reason, this booty, it just it just doesn't work. So obviously the M Sport that I'm about to show you guys in a little bit, I got it for $100, it does have a hole in it, it does need to be patched up, repaired, and all that good stuff. So for now, let's just go ahead, rip this bumper off, we're probably gonna put it up for like 50 bucks or something, because it's technically in pretty good shape. I, I think somebody out there would kind of want it. So if we end up selling this bumper, guys, we pretty much got an M Sport for 50 bucks, so I think it's a score. We both know that's easier said than done, but uh, I hope it should be easy. out with the old and in with the new. So I actually picked up this bumper for literally a hundred bucks. Now, as you guys can see, it's kind of flat over here. Then it kind of comes up a little bit and has the paint cracking and stuff. I mean, this paint, I don't know what happened to me. Clearly got rear-ended. All this is kind of chipping as well. Um, it also looks like it could have a, uh, I feel like a, it feels like it has some kind of like clear bra on here. Um, not really too sure, but all that's gonna have to come off anyways. Uh, we're actually gonna be deleting the PDC holes. We have a giant dent and gouge over here. And then obviously the biggest gouge right over here. I think this can get stitched up and fixed up at the body shop. Um, I think it's gonna probably cost me like 100 or $200 to fix it, which is unfortunate. And then another 200 or $300 to paint it. So it's probably gonna cost me $500 on top of the fact that I got the bumper. But I mean, it's probably better than buying it for $500 on eBay because that's how much they're going for. And then another, you know, $300 to paint it. So. We got the bumper, thankfully it came with the diffuser, and the good thing is the diffuser isn't actually in good shape, because the only thing we're not gonna be painting is the diffuser, yeah, thank the Lord, it's actually in pretty good shape. So, the diffuser's gonna stay the color it is, I'm happy it came with this little piece as well, because those things cost money, and the bumper itself is gonna have to get repainted in black, I want it to match the car, but yeah guys, without further ado, let's just go ahead and slap it on, I really, really, really hope there's gonna have no fitment issues, uh, just because it is an OEM, and uh, you know, I'm just hoping it'll work. My only fear is it won't actually slide in over here, just because of this whole like 
gouge or indentation. I don't really know how to explain it, but it, it's like buckled up really weird over here. I know this will come out with heat, so worst comes to worst, if it doesn't go in, we'll get that fixed. Guys, moment of truth. That is how she looks with an M Sport. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This already looks 10 times better, even though the bumper is super messed up. Like, look how aggressive an M Sport looks. Guys, I mean, tell me, am I crazier or am I right? But this looks so much better. I cannot wait for them to repair the bumper, get this thing paint match. Something I'm noticing with these aftermarket taillights, the nice thing about aftermarket taillights is the fact that you don't need to do any custom wiring or any custom harness to make them work. These are direct plug and play, but there's a stupid big module that sits behind it that's just ridiculous to put back in. This light barely sits right, and the reason it sits right is because I tightened it really, really, really well, and I had to really line it up. An OEM taillight, you really don't have to line it up that much. It should just go in well. This screw back here does not actually tighten, so that's why this side's always been like that. That's the way I got it, and I tried fixing it, but the, the, the bolt just keeps spinning, so unfortunately, that's just aftermarket taillight fitment right there. And it sucks because I'd rather market aftermarket taillights because there's no wiring needed. OEMs are the way to go. Getting a retrofit harness is the way to go. Um, I mean, they sell them literally, I think on FCP, ECS, BMW. Actually, BMW actually sells the harness itself, I think for like 40 bucks. So I think going with OEMs, which is the same price, and going with the retrofit harness is definitely the way to go. But yeah, guys, this bumper is looking so much better. At this point, guys, since we do have some white on the car, uh, I might as well start peeling up this ugly wrap job I did on here so we can expose some white on the mirror caps. Say hello to our black and white, <laughs> I don't even know what you call it, black and white 328i. Honestly guys, I cannot wait for this to get color match. It looks so much better without actual wrinkles and stuff. And this rear bumper guys, once it gets color match, it's gonna look so, so, so good. So now that we got pretty much, all, the daily's almost ready guys. We're gonna be getting the M3, the V8 M3 back from the body shop very, very, very soon. For those of you guys who don't know, um, I tried getting the car polished, ceramic coated, all that good stuff, because I really want that pink to come out and look beautiful. It is a clean title, I'm trying to treat it like a clean title. Absolute gorgeous car. And it's also low mileage, like for 40,000 miles, the paint shouldn't be looking that bad. So I really wanted the paint to look like a 40,000 mile car. Uh, but long story short, they tried to actually paint, like buffing and doing all this stuff on the hood, and all the clear coat came off the hood. The hood itself, when I first got the car, came with like clear coat chips everywhere. I was hoping that they can kind of get around that but unfortunately um, the clear coat was just too weak and they honestly couldn't do anything about it I probably should have got a painted at SSR auto body but right now uh, the car is at Jose's and he's trying to do everything he can to make the car look absolutely good the hood just ruined all the plans so um, thankfully he's actually working right next to Antonio which is my body shop guy so my body shop guy came over took off the hood went to go get it painted he's gonna throw it on the car hopefully later today and then Jose's gonna finish up everything else on the hood and then we'll finally be able to bring the car back home but yeah guys uh, as soon as the car gets home I'm gonna be sending this off to the paint shop get it buffed ceramic coated all that good stuff um, get it all painted up I think it's gonna look so 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 good once we get it back and guys this this looks so much better like I don't even know what to say I know it looks terrible because of all the holes and stuff but 
Oh, that looks so much better. M Sport is the way to go. So for those of you guys who are wondering what build I'm gonna be getting next, um, that is that's that's to find out hopefully in the next video. Hopefully when I, I was supposed to be this video, hopefully in the next video, um, you guys want to find out the new build that's gonna be hitting this channel. It's gonna be so 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 sick. It's a BMW I've always tried to experience. I've really wanted to experience this BMW, uh, but I feel like everything like the odds are always against us when I'm trying to get this car. So we finally, hopefully, hopefully, if we get this car, then uh, I'm gonna finally be able to experience that car, and I'm super hyped for it. So yeah, guys, that is gonna have to conclude this video. I know it's kind of a shorter video. Pretty much all, all we did is pretty much throw an M Sport bumper. We dropped off the cluster and just unwrapped that. Nothing too crazy. Today is kind of a shorter video, but hopefully in the next video it's gonna be jam packed. And if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash that like button. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.